Hello Scorpio and Gemini in a relationship. This is the C in Tarot. Today we're going to mix your, your sign together and see what's going on with you and your person in a relationship together. Take what resonates, throw out what does not. All right, Scorpio and Gemini, let's get ready and see what's going on. If this video does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the YouTube so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. And also go over to my Instagram, support your girl on there. As soon as I hit that 5K mark, I would definitely start those free personal readings on the gram live. And I think that's it, you guys. Let's get into Gemini and Scorpio. Gemini and Scorpio in a relationship. Mm -mm. I had my fair, fair share of Geminis, y'all. <laughs> ah, they drive me crazy. Mm -mm. I can't be with y'all. Mm -mm. Gemini and Scorpio, please. But we can be best friends. Gemini and Scorpio. Thank you. Angels. Oh, what is this? We have no need to worry. I'm feeling somebody stressed out. Anxiety. No need to worry. Recovery. Somebody is choosing themselves here. There is something better. What else? For Gemini and Scorpio. Remain positive and on the back we do have protect perfect timing for you and this person. I'm feeling like somebody is stressed out, but there's gonna be this person is gonna end up choosing themselves, trying to find themselves within, trying to take a break from this whole fiasco that's going on in this situation. The angels want you to know there's something better if you want it. Remain positive. Forget about all the negativity. Things don't happen on your time. You know, there's a defined timing involved here for you and this person to get back together so it can make it work. You guys just need to be patient and need to wait for the signs, okay? I'm seeing rainbows here. I'm seeing your, um, your angels protecting you, your ancestors behind you. They want you to succeed, but they want you to be calm. They want you to think about yourself because yourself should come first than anybody else. Gemini and Scorpio. Your first card is the magician. Wow. Manifestation prayer. They're saying whatever you want, it is yours. If it's love, relationship, whatever, friendship, money. Like they're here to give you what you want. You just have to manifest and believe in this stuff. If you manifest it and believe it that it's actually yours, it's going to happen. Okay. I'm seeing the four of swords here. I'm seeing the world. Two of pentacles and a two of swords. Very interesting. I'm getting a third party situation, y'all. Let me just say that right now. This person is feeling very overwhelmed with this situation. All right. And they're ready to make peace with this situation between two of you. Make a decision here. Okay. They're very overwhelmed. Their lies are getting caught. They can't keep tabs on everything that they're saying to you and the other person. But you know, this is giving you anxiety. I feel like, you know, you feel happy and hold with this person. But at the same time, this person is not making you feel quite at home in your heart. You just know that something is off here. Your intuition is kicking in and it's making you want to get up and go. And I feel like for some of you, that's what you're going to do. Get up and just go because you're going to choose yourself. Look, you need time to relax, time to go on a vacation, time to find yourself recovery. It's just confirming everything that I pulled before. It's like they want you to choose yourself. And it's like the universe is pulling you to that because this person is just not ready yet. When they are, they will come back. Okay. But you need to be in a better headspace because if you're not in a better headspace, when they do come back, you're just going to make this whole situation worse. This person going to drive you crazy. Scorpio and Gemini. Any more messages, please? Wow. Will of Fortune. Got two cards here. Ooh, I just saw a butterfly, y'all. Rebirth. Just flew at the window. 
you're going to turn something negative into something positive. <laughs> the situation is going to be turned into something positive. So I'm seeing you putting an end to this cycle, you guys. This person, though, is coming towards you because they, they have a lot of passion and they have a lot of feelings towards you, okay? They, they're in love with you. I ain't going to lie, okay? It is what it is. The cards are here. They're in love with you. All right, you see that little, you know, that little bow, arrow. That's how fast they're in love with you. They have a lot of fire for you, a lot of flames for you, a lot of passion for you. And so they're coming towards you. You know, you're feeling in your head about this. Like this person is driving you crazy. I'm seeing that. You need to trust your intuition, trust yourself. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. If you don't trust the situation, Remove yourself from it. Don't be afraid of being by yourself. That's not why you're here because certainly this person is coming back. You just need to have this person to have a little time for themselves to grow up here because they cheated on you with somebody down the street. The three of cups. They cheated on you with somebody down the street, y'all. Somebody, probably your neighbor, probably someone you saw, a, friend, a family friend. This is not like um, somebody that you're close to, okay? Someone that you call on a regular basis. This is someone that you saw at a wedding. That you saw this person before. I'm getting like this person want to tell you everything that's in their mind. And it's going to be a little bit scary because they don't know how to really communicate. Okay? Alright. Yeah. I'm getting like this person wants a second chance, seven of swords, but you don't believe in nothing that they say. You're going on an investigation trying to find out the truth with this situation. But I'm getting like, there's a lot of conflict here that needs to be addressed and this person has the confidence to do it. They're thinking about the sun, like they want happiness with you. Then they're quite like, they want to have fun with you. They like their, your energy, your vibes. They feel like, you know, you're being taken away from them. This could cause a lot of jealousy on their end. They're seeing like you're trying to tiptoe away from them. You're, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to pack your bags and leave them when you, they don't, when they, when they're at work or something like that. Like you're just trying to exit out of this relationship gracefully without telling them something, but they're putting this all in your hands. Okay. They're not going to chase after you. I feel like this person wants you to chase after them because um, they're saying that once they do this, they're going to put it in your hands. Once they chase after you, if it's a no, they're going to back off, put it in your hands. I'm seeing a seven of pentacles. They want to invest here in this relationship. They want to invest in this relationship. Let's see. Scorpio in Gemini. I've seen a lot of forgiveness. You know, this person makes you like lose sleep at night, but I feel like you're going to um, take that away. I do see this person trying to bring balance back into your life. Like they're trying to help. Um, why am I seeing butterflies in this picture? Look at that. I just saw some butterflies and I'm seeing butterflies. But um, it's like a confirmation. I'm telling you, like this person is coming back to help you. Um, they took a lot from you, so they want to give back to you. They want to balance the scales with you. They want you to look at them at least in the same level of how, you know, like you and them fit. I'm getting the Queen of Wands and the Five of Swords. But this is like devastation. This is why you're rolling your eyes because this person, this person brought you through a lot of embarrassment. You know, trying to scam you guys too, make you feel used. It's like you, when you want to love them, they don't want to love you. I'm like, I'm think, I'm seeing like they're making everything sink. Like, 
like you're hiding from this person most of the time like you had to like see that daggone noise <laughs> person is cutting the grass like you had to like forgive yourself you had to like let a lot of this go and when you realize that you know what this person is trying to be in my head i can't do nothing about this but you look at this person as someone that you can definitely be with you look at them as being so beautiful so like <sighs> developed so friendly with other people and you're wondering like why are they like this to you but i have the ace of pentacles here so wow the first time i've seen this in this deck or is it the second time this is interesting so you thinking for some of you you definitely thinking that you want to continue this relationship with this person you want to make things right you want the ace of pentacles for some of you have a family with this person some of you might be married to this person when you're wondering well am i going to be married to this person it's all up to you my dear because I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles in the upright, meaning good signs. This person is going to bring some kind of, what is this? Abundance to you. There's going to be abundance. There's going to be this good things in your life. The legacy. Like they're working so hard. This person is working so hard. There's going to be a lot of legacy, a lot of money, a lot of accomplishments at your door once you get rid of all this negative feelings with this person there's only going to be positive coming towards you this is what i see for you scorpio and gemini in a mixed relationship you're going to have your struggles but it's going to be up to you to fight this for to pray for this to meditate to get this all these negative energies out you will be you will be receiving a message very soon this situation with you feels very whole but at the same time you're like done with this cycle that's going on here but your person is not done with you i don't think so um they have a lot of passion so they're working on their passion not their feelings okay um, it's all about passion attraction that they're coming towards you with. All right. So they might try to feel on you and you're just like, don't touch me. Like, why are you touching me? That's the vibe that I'm getting because they're very attracted to you, but they're not very emotional person. I'm not getting that. I'm getting like, they're appro approaching you with attraction, like looking at you, looking their lips, um, looking at you from head to toe, you know, what girls do, what guys do. Stuff like that <laughs> when they want to get something <laughs> or get some, okay? This is what I see, Scorpio, Gemini. If it does resonate, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, I will have a link in the description box for you. It will be your playlist. And go over to my Instagram, you guys, and support your girl even further by following your girl as soon as I reach that 5K mark. I'll definitely start those free personal readings on the Instagram. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.